YouTube coming at you with another video. Just wanted to do a quick comparison of the Century Arms Set Me Sporter and the PTR 91 PDW. Both of these are chambered in 308 or 762 NATO. For the Set Me Sporter, the weight is about 128 ounces. This one's probably a little bit more with the attachments. It has a magazine capacity of 20 plus one has an 18 inch barrel that is 4140 chromoly steel and it has a polymer receiver. The Set Me Sporter does not have the magazine paddle release. So in order to release the magazine and put in a new one, you gotta hit this button, which is kind of hard. You gotta have some monster hands. So basically to change out the mag, you've got to uh, get out of your, you know, tactical firing position or whatever. So that'll take some training. The Set Me Sporter does have a hooded front HK style sight. It does have the tri rail on this particular version and also a vertical grip. It does not have a Picatinny rail up here. We have a claw mount that is not attached to it because we do not have an optic for this one right now. Overall, this thing is a pleasure to shoot. It's pretty heavy, but the heaviness helps with the recoil. As far as the PTR-91, the overall weight on it is about 8.1 pounds. It's got an 8.5 inch match grade barrel. The capacity on it is also 20 plus one. Like I said, it does have the Paddle Magazine release, which is a huge, huge plus. The overall length of the PTR-91 PDW is around 23.5 inches, depending on how you have it configured. This one has the tail hook on it, which works pretty good. It has the rear HK style diopter sight, and it also has a welded Picatinny rail, which will allow you to mount any optics that you want. It does have the front hooded HK sight, and it also has the HK style, uh, forget what you call it, uh, HK style charging handle. Uh, both of these weapons do. Um, both of these are a pleasure to shoot. Um, one of the difference as I did notice on the PTR-91, safety's up, fire's down. And if you look at the Set Me Sporter, fire is up, safe is down. Let's uh, check the trigger on both of these. All right, we have the PTR-91, let's check the trigger. Pretty smooth, little heavy, but uh, it's kind of crisp. Not too bad. All right, let's check the trigger on the Sentry Arms Set Me Sporter. Uh, this trigger is very light, very smooth, crisp, feels like it's about maybe five and a half pounds, feels pretty solid. Disassembly on both of these firearms are pretty much the same. You have two pins here, two pins here, everything just comes out the back. Uh, maintenance and cleaning is fairly simple. Uh, both of these firearms are, they're built like tanks. Um, both of them are roller delayed, uh, blowback mechanisms. Uh, they shoot very, very well. And for the 308 uh, round that it shoots, uh, both of these are pretty, uh, pretty decent as far as um, reliability and as far as recoil. Hopefully we can get these out to the range soon 
ammo is kind of scarce. I have not seen any 308 or 7.62 NATO ammo pretty much anywhere on the shelf. So hopefully in the near future, we can get these out to the range. But as always, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching and God bless.